Well, well, well. Here's Mama Bloom's brood. Sidney, who has constituted himself one of the mainstays of Papa's motion picture business in Hollywood, bought a hundred useless suits of armor. He proceeded then to get Papa locked up in one, but everything must have turned out all right, for two days later, Sally is visiting with Mama. Listen. Ma, do you want me to put this tablecloth on? That, darling? This tablecloth? Is this the one you want on? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Uh, wait a minute, Sarah, darling. What part goes to the other side? Can oh. you see it? Oh, sure. <laughs> That's the spot where the coffee is. Pop always sits there. <laughs> All right. Well, what's the matter? Something funny? I have to laugh every time I think of Paul locked up in that suit of armor. Mm, ain't nothing to laugh at, sir. Your <laughs> papa might have got concession of the mind when Sidney hit him with the hammer. Hit him with the hammer? Why, Ma, I didn't know anything about that. Uh, Sidney was unfastening the little buckles that were stuck from being crafty. He hammered them, and once he missed, Papa was in the bay. Oh. He couldn't move. Oh, I hope poison's still sore. Yeah, your papa's sore on the back from the legs, from the back of the neck, and in the elbows. The suit pinched. Oh, Ma, what I mean is, I hope he isn't still mad at Sidney. After all, Sid couldn't help but the clasps and things were a little rusty. An iron suit ain't nothing to put papa in. Yeah, but... Especially when he's got a hundred of them. <laughs> your papa's still mad. Well, Sid was a little scared about going to work this morning. So was papa. Ma... Yeah. I, uh... Look, Ma, I hope Paul realizes that Sidney's really trying to make something of the movie company. After all, it's a new business, and maybe Sidney and Harold will do some things that look or sound crazy, but in the long run, they're only trying to help. I know, darling, I know. But sometimes the one who's trying to help gets in the way. It's just like when you and Yetta was little girls and I was baking or cooking in the kitchen. She was very anxious to help. Yeah. And so I shouldn't say no and maybe hurt your feelings. I'd give you a little flour, a little butter, and put you in a corner. So you was out of my way. Oh, but that's different. Paul just can't put Sidney and Harold out of the way. Uh, he was thinking very hard about it. Oh, they're smart, Ma. They... Mm -hmm. Sometimes people can be too smart for their own good, Sarah. But... And too smart for other people's good, too. They think so hard and so long about being smart that they don't pay any attention to anybody else. Oh, but Ma... Yeah, darling, it's like the story that was in your school books. The one about the rabbit and the torpedo. Tortoise more. Yeah, that's the one I remember. The rabbit talked so hard about being smart that he didn't think about the little turtle. You mean like, like Pa and Sid? Your papa ain't a turtle. But that's what I mean. <laughs> In front of Sidney, I wouldn't say a void. And I don't want you should say I said anything. No. No. But you should tell him to go just a little slower so he can see what papa's doing once in a while. Oh, I see. Well... What kind of plates do you want on, Ma? A plate. Ah, uh, the big ones. And darling, Papa gets soup, too. Uh-huh. I will. That yet, and Harold? Oh, I think Yvette went to town. She said she wanted to get some things. I guess Harold's at the studio. At least he should be. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I uh, give Papa a big spoon, Sarah. Sure. And, uh, Ma, mm -hmm. there's another thing I wanted to talk to you about. What, darling? Well... I just don't know how to say it, Ma, but, well, I 
think that Pa should dress a little better when he goes to work. Papa should dress a little better? Uh-huh. What's the matter with the way Papa dresses? Well, there's nothing wrong but to Pa. You see, well, he still wears that old blue suit, and oh, why does he have to wear that old derby? Your Papa ain't collection that he shouldn't wear a hat. Oh, you mean collegiate, Ma. I mean he should wear a hat. But why? Nobody out here wears a hat, especially derbies. And he wears it right in the middle of his head. So? Yvonne should wear it over one eye like a chain gangster? Well, no, but he can get a soft felt hat. Oh, I think he looked nice in one. Hmm. Papa would look nice in a soft felt hat. Uh-huh. I know that, yeah. Papa would look nice in anything. But he wouldn't wear anything. Oh, Ma. Didn't I buy him six fancy shirts and some new pants? You know where they are? They're still in the closet. Well, hide his other clothes. Hide them? Mm-hmm. And make him a noodle list? Oh. I don't talk foolish, Sarah. Anyway, why should Papa dress any different than he's always dressing before? In clothes, clothes. Well, not out here. Well, here's what I mean, Ma. Yeah. In New York, Pa and Sam had the knee pants business. All right, it was a good business, but they didn't have to... Well, they didn't have to put on a show, see? Yeah, that's right, that's right. And in Hollywood, they don't have to put on a show because they ain't actors. Oh, no, no, Ma. You... Out here, people look at what you wear. And here's Pa. Supposed to be a big executive in a movie company. The owner of Excello Pictures Corporation. And he dresses as though he owns a pushcart on 2nd Avenue, New York. So, that's enough of that monkey talk. Oh, gee, Ma, I've been wanting to talk to you about it for a long time. You know people judge from appearances out here, and, well, Paul certainly doesn't look any too prosperous. No, I guess you want to should put on a uniform like a soldier. <laughs> no, but... He should put on some kind of a front. No, no, Sarah. So he should put on some kind of a front, huh? Do you know what a front is, Sarah? Sure, Ma. I'll tell you. A front is like a man, but is dressed in a coat with tails. In a shirt with a front that is stiff with starch. And a very fancy vest. It's a very lovely front. Oh, Ma. But, Sarah, just take off the coat, and the vest ain't got a bag. And the shirt ain't lovely all around like it is in the front. You see, darling... The way Papa dresses now, he could take off his coat and still have a back to his shirt and vest. Even if the suit is the old blue one. Oh, I know all that, Ma, but Pa could still wear a better suit. Be careful, Sarah, you're putting the cups on the plates. Even Papa don't spill that much coffee when he stirs. And darling, put out the little salad plates, yeah? Okay, Ma. But I don't think you paid much attention to what I was saying. I was listening, wasn't I? Yes, but, well, you won't say anything to Pa. I know I won't. Oh, Papa's Ma. Papa, and nobody's changing him. But it wouldn't be changing, Pa. It'd be just changing the clothes he wears. And his shoes, Ma. Why does he still wear those high lace shoes? They went out with a horse and buggy. Yeah, the horse and buggy went out, so we got automobiles. And with automobiles, we got more hexes. Oh, now, Ma, you don't have to say things like that. I was just putting a point. Accidents don't have anything to do with shoes. Then you don't know your Papa's feet? If he don't wear the high shoes, his ankles wobble. Don't forget, Sarah. Oh, Your papa got bum feet from sitting cross-legged on a table 25 years ago so he could feed you and Yetta. Well, now don't think we don't appreciate it. There isn't a thing Yvette and I wouldn't do for you or Pa. Why, Sidney and Harold would do anything, too. I know, darling, I know. But I should think that you'd like to kind of forget those days when you had to pinch every penny to make both ends meet. Papa and me never pinched penny, Sarah. We had to pinch dimes and nickels. Besides, yeah. why should we want to forget those days? If you are used to having pudding without whipped cream, and then all of a sudden you get pudding with whipped cream, it tastes better if you remember that for a long time you ate it without the cream. Oh, Ma. You've got an answer for everything, haven't you? Mm, yeah. Living for over 20 years with Papa made me smart. <laughs> I got to have answers. <laughs> Cut the bread, darling. Okay. Yeah, and put the plate by Papa. I did. Uh-huh. There's Papa now. Uh, hello, baby. Hello, darling. Hi, hello. Pa. Well, didn't Sydney come with you? Sydney? No, I ain't seen Sydney all day. Hi, Papa. You look tired. Yeah, I had a hard day, Becky. Were you busy, Pa? Busy? <laughs> no, I didn't do any work, if that's what you mean. But the whole day I spent looking at iron suits. I'm telling you, I wore myself out just looking at a hundred suits of armor. How could you wear out yourself if you didn't do any work? You should ask. I wore myself out carrying out each one of the iron suits in my mind. Fifteen hundred dollars worth of iron, that's no good. But, Pa, well, they're certainly good for something, or else Sidney wouldn't have bought them. Good for something? (laughs) Sarah, was you ever in an iron suit? No. Then you don't know nothing about them. 
I was in one. And when you're in one, you can't move. So what good are they? Ah, uh, Papa, sit down here. Yeah, and just as soon as she's me, and yet, and Harold gets here, we'll eat. Eat? <laughs> that's good, Mama, that's good. Yeah, I'll need a lot of food. Well, where is Sidney today, Pa? Where is Sidney, she asked me. <laughs> Not once did I see him. So how should I know where he is? For two hours, I stayed with the iron suits because I hoped that Sidney would come in. <laughs> I hoped, but he didn't come in. Well, I hope you're not going to hold that against him, Pa. Hold it against him? Hold it against him? <laughs> One of the iron suits I would want to hold against his head. Ah, ah Papa, never mind. Never yeah? mind. Last night I dreamed of iron suits. Everything I looked at today was made of iron. Even my head felt like a lump of iron. And so did my feet. Well, after all, $1,500 won't make or break the movie company, Pa. $1,500 is $1,500, Sarah. And it don't make a difference if it breaks or makes anything. That's right, Mama, that's right. Fifteen hundred dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> Fifteen hundred iron men. Sarah, don't say iron men. Don't say oh. that. Must you keep telling me about iron all the time? I telling you, I want to forget about it. Yeah, iron. All right, Mama. Mama, I'm hungry. That ain't nothing new, darling. Can we leave just as soon as the others get here? Should I put the things on the table now and have them get cold? Things don't taste good when they're cold. All right, then why don't they hurry? Papa, the food ain't going to run away. Yeah, uh -huh, right, uh -huh. yeah. You yeah. see, Papa. Talk about Sydney and I pops the devil. <laughs> uh, Sarah, answer the door, will you, darling? Oh, sure, Ma. Yeah. Papa. What, Becky? Don't aggravate yourself when you're eating, huh? Mm. I read in the book that worrying when you're eating gives you indigestion. Well, I'll try to forget everything, Becky, but every time I think of Ireland... Don't, don't think of it, darling. Don't think of it. Hello, Bob. Hello, Sydney. Hello, uh, Where's Yetan, Harold? Oh, they'll be along. Harold stopped to pick up some tickets. Tickets? Yeah, for a show. I thought you'd all like to go. Oh, ain't that nice, Papa? Yeah, who's paying for the ticket? Why, nobody, Pa. I got them through the studio. That's nice, that's nice. So we'll eat, yeah, huh, Harold Papa? and Yetta should be here in a minute. They left the studios before I did. That's good, Harold, that's good. So we'll sit down and eat. I'll put things on, Ma. Uh, no, darling, no, I'll do it. Sydney, where was you today? Oh, I was around, Pa, looking at some rushes, checking up on a story. Yeah, uh, here, Papa, now. Now, please, huh, darling, pass the potatoes. <laughs> Everything smells so good, Mama. I feel my appetite coming that's back. That's good, Jake, that's good. Your appetite always comes back just as soon as you sit at the table. <laughs> oh, Sid. Yes, darling? Well, why did Yet and Harold have to get the tickets? Oh, this is a special movie. A special movie? What's so special about one movie? Well, oh, give me the meat, will you, honey? Uh-huh, here you are. Thanks. Sidney, you ain't told us what kind of a picture it is. No, oh, I was getting around to it, Ma. It's a revival of one of the old hey, ones. Give me the meat, Sydney. Oh. <laughs> Mama, I'm feeling better all the time. You always do when you eat, Papa. Uh, Sydney, what's the name of the picture? Oh, well, the Iron Horse. Papa, what's the matter? Why are you leaving? I lost my appetite. 